just about finished packing. And I can't tell you how glad I am to be leaving this place today. It can be a little quiet because they're right outside, but freaking the drunk alcoholic manager has been going around into people's rooms today, drinking at noon, just thinking he's going to party with people. And hey, how you doing? Oh, hi. <laughs> Joking and bullshit. <sighs> I'm ready to go. Alright, I managed to get all packed up, checked out, I tossed the, my computer back in his room to keep it safe. Gotta go out and we're gonna try to see the Temple of Zeus today. Had a little drama getting set up with a place to stay in coast. When I booked my tickets a month ago, hostels were dirt cheap, 20 euros a night, tops, for really nice places on the beach. So I didn't think anything of it. Today I went to go book some uh, rooms for where I was staying. The cheapest I was finding was like 70, 80 euros a night. So I got the first place I finally found that was the cheapest. It's 135 euros for three nights. I couldn't find anything else, so I had to book it. Way too expensive. And I was trying to debate just camping out on the beach the other three nights. But I uh, did a little more digging and I found a place for 30, uh, 34 US a night. So, way too expensive, but that's what you get sometimes when you uh, procrastinate and don't book anything right away. It's one of those euros I was telling you about yesterday. These things are certifiable. The little shop is this hole in the wall in the shitty part of town, but it's packed always. People come from all over Athens to eat this guy's food. They're dirt cheap too, two euros, or less than three bucks. They are unbelievable. Don't know the name of the place because it's written in Arabic or Greek. Couldn't tell you, but uh, ask around when you come to Athens. Or don't come to Athens, it's not that great. Well, we've wandered our way down through the flea markets of Ammonia, through the ancient ruins, and we've now stopped at the museum of the ancient Greek, oh, I don't know, something or other. But a lot of cool stuff down here, statues, artifacts from both Roman and, and Greek times. Cool building, too. It's definitely Romanesque style. I don't know if it's been remodeled or if, if they were able to keep it. If it was an older building, maybe, you know, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th century AD. But it's absolutely magnificent. This is a stone tile from one of the old floors. Can you imagine how long that would have taken and how tedious that would have been? Each of those is no bigger than like a dime. I mean, that's my pinky finger there. And the whole floor would have been covered in this intricate pattern. Life was a lot of work back in the day. Oh, well, thanks. This is an actual old bronze Spartan shield. That's pretty sweet. It's your ancient battle implements. You got a dagger up top, a sword, and then a razor I imagine was on the end of some sort of slashing type tool. Thank you. I just got yelled at by the selfie police. They said it's okay to take pictures of the artifacts, but not of yourself with the artifacts. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but... Okay, I'll move on then. I'm not really sure what this place is. But it's in magnificent shape, probably in better shape than any of the other monuments or buildings we've seen from this era anyway. Almost all four walls on the roof are still intact. Here we go, found the sign. It's the Temple of Phaistius. And all the murals up here depict the labors of Hercules, old battles, battle with the centaurs. 
all sorts of cool mythology. I don't know how well you can see the details. Some of them are broken down a little bit, but even without reading it, you can kind of tell the story. You see people wrestling with one another or fighting with swords and spears and horsemen and all sorts of cool stuff. And if you look out this way, beautiful view of the Agora and the Acropolis. It's sad to see the rest of the city going the way it has, but this part has certainly still got that nostalgic charm to it. After a long walk through what seems like half of Athens, we finally come to the temple of the most notoriously promiscuous deity of them all, the lightning bolt chucking bearded man himself. Ladies and gentlemen, the temple of Zeus, king of Mount Olympus. Or at least what's left of it anyways. This place must have been massive in its day. It's at least a football field wide and shoot, I don't know, quarter mile long. And there's structures all the way around. So I imagine this was like an inner temple over here. Big walls, courtyard, plaza, maybe uh, shrines and the usual bazaars and stuff where you could buy your offering for the day or trinkets, food, whatever. But it had to be magnificent. This place is old. If I could rewind a couple thousand years, come back here, check out the sites as they were, kick in a toga, throw back some wine and smash on some pitas, it'd be something to see. It's a good question for you. If you had to pick one time in history to go back and experience in real time, where would you go and what would you see? Comment down below, let me know. My favorite three answers will get a retweet or a shout out on Twitter. It's hot, we're gonna go find somewhere we can sit in the shade, kick our feet up, maybe grab a beer or something. Woo! A lot of walk. There she is, like a beacon of hope, shining through the darkness. Home sweet home for a few more hours. <laughs> this place, apparently the roommates walked out with the key. They only have one key. So, yeah, I guess we're uh, hanging out in the lobby for a bit. on air conditioned lobby. Another day in the life of the Athens adventure, people. Well, after getting the ordeal with the room keys figured out, we got into the room for a minute. On our way back out, we met two girls from London. Hi, Kate hi. and Lucy, correct? Yeah, really. Looking for dinner, which we were also looking for dinner, so we teamed up. We're gonna go find somewhere to grab a quick bite to eat. Some traditional Greek fare. That'll work? The best table is available right now. Yeah. This guy's offering a pretty good deal on the roof up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Overlooking the city. Yeah, 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 honestly, I have available the best table right now in the restaurant. Yeah, Let's have a look. <laughs> Guys, have a look. Oh the God. most amazing table like is waiting for you. <laughs> Perfect. Wow. wow. So, here's our view from, from our dinner table. Got us on one side, and the whole of Athens on the other. Not too bad. We're dining in a restaurant that's had the company of such as Frank Sinatra, um, James Colburn. This is so amazing. 
And oh, that's the only people I know in here, but they have a lot of famous people that come Excuse here. Excuse me? Oh, sweet. Since 1870. Oh, I saw our food finally made it up here. The appetizers, anyways. We got a little sampler plate, uh, tzatziki, some tomato thing, hummus, another thing. Greek olives that look awesome. The little spinach guys. The ladies have a lovely Mediterranean salad over there with feta, and we got the uh, the cheese they flame up. It looks fantastic. So I'm gonna stop filming and eat. <laughs> right, I'm going for one of the spinach leaf wrap guys. Wow, that's like um, rice, olive oil, oregano, tangy. Funny, <laughs> enjoying it. They're enjoying the dialogue. I'm choking apparently. Ben's about to have to jump across the table and give the Heimlich maneuver. It's like that man with the balloon. Give us a quick bio. What are you guys doing right now on your trip? You're on holiday, doing what? What are we doing? <laughs> We're just traveling, just going on. Just having a good holiday for our birthdays. Yeah. Holiday for your birthdays? Yeah, well, happy birthdays. And where are you headed to? We're going to EOS tomorrow morning, and then on the 12th, we're going to Mykonos for how many nights? Five nights? Gonna go six. Six nights, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Then no, no. back to Athens, and then home. So it's only a short trip, but. Fun. Right on, cool. What's that? That is olive branch leaf. Um, there's stuff inside it. Fine, it's good. Is it spicy? Well, you wouldn't know that by me. <laughs> is it spicy? You're eating it. It's in your mouth. You tell us. Is it? You just met like, hey, I need to get my condoms out. <laughs> We might all be speaking English, but we're not always speaking the same language. This is why they've taken us to a dinner. <laughs> we find well, out. yeah, now we're now we're finding out that we're getting shortchanged to. So we've been having conversations about the different lingo, different slang we have in you know Australia versus U.S. versus Britain, and the usual chips crisps, you know, french fries and what we call chips back in America. Like, is gelato, uh, does that really, is that uh, innuendo? No, no. <laughs> Jelly and, and ice cream and jam and all that, all that good stuff. But the best one that's come up so far is <laughs> Kate here, we're walking, there's like a little market, and she's like, hold on, I gotta go grab some sponges. And she's like, Jet's in there, and they're like, no big deal, and I'm like, uh, what? I got my sponges. And she's got her sponges. <laughs> But sponges can be sponges like that, or but like a sponge back home would be like washing dishes, and she's not washing dishes no, on vacation. No, my shoulder pads for my bag. So the other form of sponge in the U.S. is a feminine, a nickname for feminine birth control. What so is I thought it was, kind of, I thought it was we're, we're having a good laugh. Now, now that I explained it, why I was so shocked that she was just openly just telling us people she just randomly met, and she's like, I want to grab some birth control. For my two week, for my two week vacation. Oh. So much to talk about. So we had to stop in for a little gelato. I haven't done that in a while. And instead of donkey's milk, they had buffalo's milk. So we'll give that a taste test. And of course, a baklava because you don't get the grease and so not get baklava. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. What'd you go with? Stole my 11. Nice. Stole it. Stole it 10 euro. Nice. Stole 10 euro. Stole 10 for a big old waffle cone like that. The buffalo milk. It's not quite as good as the donkey's milk. But it's worth trying. But Italian gelato kicks Greeks gelato's ass. Greeks stick to the baklava. Leave the gelato to the Italians, okay? <laughs> We made it back safe to the underworld of Omnia, where uh, everybody's kind of splitting up. I looked the last tram heads out at midnight, which is about 45 minutes, so... Gonna get packed up and head out, say goodbye. The girls are off to the Alps now. Ben's got So, I'm gonna stop vlogging for tonight now and catch back up with you tomorrow morning, which is in about uh, 30 minutes, so we'll see you then. I'm out.
the most notoriously promiscuous deity of them all, the lightning bolt chucking bearded man himself, ladies and gentlemen, the Temple of Zeus.